Our next topic is loop analysis. Loop analysis in electronics is a very powerful tool that we frequently use to analyze electronic circuits. So please pay attention to this discussion as well. The basic idea of loop analysis is that we sum the voltages around the loops to solve for the loop currents. In electronics, we don't use meshes as often. We use loops more frequent. So meshes can be used, but not as often. We use loops, which is basically any closed path. Let us show you a simple electronic circuit. And this circuit that you see here has one loop. Let me extend the arrow of the power supply to its voltage source. And I'm going to connect the ground of the voltage source to the ground of the circuit. The circuit clearly contains one loop. And the current through this loop is basically I. Now, the way we apply loop analysis in circuits is a little bit different than the way we apply loop analysis in electronics. So let me show you how we apply loop techniques in circuit courses. So in circuit courses, we basically sum the voltages around the loop. If the current enters the negative polarity as a convention, we subtract the voltage. If the current enters the plus polarity of the element, then we add the voltage. And this is a convention. You can use the reverse logic if you want. But the convention is if the current enters the negative polarity of the voltage, we subtract. If the current enters the positive polarity of the voltage, we add. So if we come to the voltage source here, VCC, the current enters the negative polarity. That means we're going to subtract this voltage source and the current will enter the top of the resistor R1. That means the plus polarity is on the top. That's by Ohm's law. That means we're going to add the voltage across the resistor. The plus polarity of VB on the top, that means we're going to add VB. By the way, VB is not a voltage source. It is a voltage drop. It is a constant voltage drop. That represents or models some electronic circuits that we will study. So this is not a battery now, it is a voltage drop. It is just a constant voltage drop, right? It's a voltage drop across the circuit that is constant, equals 1 volt, 0 0.7 volts, 0 0.5 volts, whatever. This is a constant voltage drop. Then the current enters the top of R2. Then by Ohm's law, it should have the plus polarity on the top. Then we're going to add the voltage across R2. If you write the loop equation as we studied it in circuit analysis courses, then we're going to say that it is minus VCC plus I times R1 plus VB plus I times R2 equals 0. That's the way we write loop equations as we studied it in circuit courses. So I have good news for you and bad news for you. The bad news is that that is not the way we write loop equations in electronics. The good news is that electronic techniques are more professional. So up to the sophomore year, you are learning basics. In junior year, like electronics, will have the professional skills. So let me show you how as electronic engineers will look at the circuit for a loop analysis perspective. We do not use voltage sources in electronic circuits. So this is the circuit we see. Now, as electronic engineer, you see that this is one loop because you know that you can extend VCC through the voltage source to ground and you will have one loop. It is very clear that this is a one loop now. Even though we don't see a closed path, this diagram, the circuit diagram shows you that it is one loop. Then the way we write the loop equations in electronics, we say that VCC, which is the top voltage, will equal to the sum of the voltage drops. Very important concept, let's say it again. VCC, which is the power supply voltage, will equal to the sum of the voltage drops. There is a voltage drop across R1, across VB, and across R2. The sum of those voltage drops must equal to VCC by the loop equation or by Kirchhoff voltage law. So we can state that VCC, which is the voltage at the top, will equal to the remaining voltage drops, which are I times R1 plus VB plus I times R2. That is the way we write the loop equation 
in electronics. The top voltage will equal to the sum of the voltage drops. Now we can solve for I, which is basically VCC minus VB over R1 plus R2. We have taken VB to the other side of the equation and we combine the two resistors and we divided them by VCC minus VB. This concept is very important, folks. The voltage at the top will equal to the sum of the voltages below it. That is basically KVL. I want you to visualize it. Make sure that you master this technique. 